to the cell house, see if we get any action. One of the spirits lingering in the cell house is said to be Andreza Merkovich, who was sentenced to death and offered the option of going by hanging or by firing squad. He chose to be shot. So on this level, Steve, we'll hear doors slamming. And nobody's here. Hey, guys, we're in here to talk to you. OK, see down there, Steve? Look down there. Yeah. The very end, I will have a spirit that will peek his head out. Andreza Merkovich, I'm here as a visitor trying to believe. Give me a sign that somebody is there, something is there. I... Did you see something? I saw something. That's where a shadow guy is, on the very left. What was that? Man, I think you and Steve go Steve? down there. Come on, Steve. Did you hear that? Well, I heard it. Oh, wait, let's look. That's it wasn't a very specific sound. Something could be expanding mm -hmm. or contracting. Oh, yeah. That. Oh, did it? Really? Mm-hmm. Yes. I just changed it for a power room. We're in the cell block. As Susan and I walked to the end of the hall to check out the noise, Monroe said his battery pack has drained. There's things happening, but not on my end. I want to see, feel, or sense something. If you meditate, that helps, opening up your third eye. I've been hitting the head with so many steel chairs, my third eye is closed. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Our next stop tonight is solitary confinement, where we will try to make contact with the defiant multiple murderer Jesse Bishop. Some have said he still haunts this area. All right, so I've got this piece of gear. It's called the SLS camera, structure light sensor camera. It's shooting out this massive infrared grid, like millions of infrared dots. And if something that has a human shape breaks that one of those beams, it's going to map as a little stick figure. All right, let's see if we can go down here. Come with me. So if there's anybody in here, my name's Patrick, this is Steve. That's, is that us? I just heard a door open. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> At least, will you walk down there and just see if there's a true person down there? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's people around here. There's got it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I think it ends right there, doesn't it? Look, look. You see that? It's crawling up the bars. That's really it's creepy. A, it's a geometrical figure. Did you see that? It literally, it like minimizes the whole screen. Doing it again. Nice windows for you. Do you not want us to see you? Another battery. Uh, Choose another battery. I changed these batteries about a half hour ago, and they usually last about six hours plus. Give it up. <laughs> yep, that's the spirits, guys. <laughs> Battery drain is like the most common thing to happen on an investigation. Because if you think about it, our equipment needs the energy to power. If you believe that this is energy or a spirit or a ghost, it needs some kind of power source. My batteries are all right, but they ain't fully charged either. OK, time for my last chance for a ghostly interaction, the death chamber said to be haunted by the ghost of serial killer Carol Cole. OK, let's go. OK, y'all. OK, so hold up. He is wanting to see things. Well, you just missed some of the craziest stuff that happened tonight. <laughs> Here you go. Come Good, I'm always a we day late and a dollar short. 
I'm standing here, Mike's standing here, my brother's standing right here. This picture falls off of the wall. And no one was over With there. With all of us standing in the middle of this room, it fell That's off the wall from right there. Mike, we've been riding together for a couple of days now. Is that what happened? I did not see that picture fall off the wall. But what I do know is that he was standing here, the two of us were over here, and it fell. My cameraman, Mike, is a solid guy. He did not write, see something happen, but he says something fell off the wall while he was in here. Maybe we're on to something here to see if it's a ghost and maybe even find out what they want. I'm using the spirit box, which scans radio frequencies that some believe ghosts use to try to communicate. Can you tell us the name of the person whose picture fell? What I'm hearing right now is burst of static, kind of like what you hear when you turn a car radio dial looking for a station. So we know that there's quite a few people, all of these people right here. You all did some pretty terrible things, and you met your end right behind him there. Do you have something else that you want to say now? Once again, I wasn't hearing or experiencing anything paranormal related. So Patrick and I decided to switch places and see if he had any better luck than I did. I'm sitting here in the death chamber. Patrick is inside. I'm where the visitors would be to watch someone die. And so I'm going to ask questions and see if there's a spirit reaching out back to me. What is your name? Why are you here? Is Carol Cole here? Ooh, hold up, hold up. What? A man's voice just went, you will be next. Hey, you're the one talking to them. They're answering you. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go back in. Yeah, yeah. yeah, let's go back in. OK. You just said I was going to be next. Why? Ooh. Where's Mike? Is he still in here? Yeah. There. Bro, it said your name. Mike, do you want to go in the death chamber? I'm not forcing you to. I'm just, all right. OK. Mike's coming in? Let's go. <laughs> Apparently, the now suddenly very talkative spirit that a moment ago I thought was threatening to kick my ass now wants to talk to my cameraman, Mike. OK, we ready? Are you angry with Mike? Let Mike be your voice. Say something. Are you done with us? Let's get you out of there. It's probably thinking of a different mic. I didn't hear much. I just heard some country music every once in a while. What was going through your head? I mean, I got to admit, like, I was like, I mean, I was trembling a little bit. The truth is, I'm not leaving this place to change, man. I can't explain everything that happened tonight, but that doesn't mean it's paranormal. The good news is we didn't run into Linda Blair. Now, that would have been terrifying. Thank you very much for inviting me down here, Susan. It it's been great. a pleasure. Uh, but a, a very interesting night at the prison. So I mean, let's get out of here. All right. I didn't see or sense any proof of spirits, but that's just me. I'm not saying that they don't exist to other people. I, I can simply speak for myself that from what I saw and felt, I'm not inclined to believe in spirits just yet. Hey, I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I'm hitting the road to take on any challenge that's brave enough to take on me. I see you laughing, over. I may be retired, but I ain't taking it easy. I'm taking it on.